Hello everybody, so it's been almost six, I think more than six months, but basically six months since my last video about compatibility, okay, with Asus C790, in this case Hero, it could be any of the Asus ones, which by the way, this also includes any Z790 of other ones, so it could be Gigabyte, MSI, etc, etc, etc. I've been testing a lot of the things that people have been saying over Reddit, Facebook, uh, the Ubuntu community, uh, Fedora, Arch, oh, oh, a lot of things either related to NVIDIA or the kernel or the hardware. Okay, so I'm going to get you up to date with what you can expect in regards to performance, compatibility, etc, etc, etc. Okay, so first let me show you again the hardware. I am, however, getting new uh, storage devices. Uh, right now I have, uh, let me show you just so you can get an idea. I got um, two WDSN850X, okay, of two gigabytes each. I'm getting a four gigabyte one so I can store all the crap that's on the other ones. These two are basically um, HDDs, okay, 7200 RPMs there. And you got two SSDs of Samsung, the A50 Pro and A50 Pro one terabyte. So half a terabyte, one terabyte. And these two are four terabytes each. That's why, just in case you ask, how the hell do you get 13.5 terabytes there? Well, it's it's because of that. Um, I need to show you a lot of things on this video. So I wouldn't advise in, in accelerating the video or something like that because you're gonna learn about also how long some of the devices last. So let's start with the um, HDDs, okay? 7,200, let's do a smart data analysis here. And you can see that a powered on, it's been for nine months, okay? Which is, I mean, it's short. Uh, you can see the error rate there. Um, how many times I've turned on, off the, the computer um, and other things. This, however, and this is very important, just in case it happens to you. Um, I've been moving around a lot here in Costa Rica, okay? So the previous place that I was in, actually two, two places before that I was in, it was super hot in there. So this is what, what I call a false positives. At some point, it was very hot in the room, okay? And obviously I had the case uh, closed, uh, normally I have an open case, mainly because that way all the devices at the same time get the same um, benefit of temperature, okay? Not just specific ones like the CPU or the video card. Which is, by the way, it's, there's going to be a video. I'm, I'm going to be purchasing, apart from these devices, uh, the, the, the new storage devices, which I'm getting an SNA50X of 4 terabytes, and a 8 terabyte something 870 or something like that it's an ssd so be because of what i'm about to show you but apart from that i'll be testing the case closed okay so we can do a test of what 20 minutes 30 minutes benchmarking a couple of things there and you can see the temperature with the case open with the case closed on both cases okay and we'll be checking the temperature of several devices, so you can understand that. If you've actually studied thermodynamics, uh, I'm a system engineer, so there, there's things that you end up studying. Depending on the devices, how you set them up, position, flow of air, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, you might end up enjoying or having a better uh, life with the device with the, with the case open than, than closed. But that's something that I need to show you so you can understand because or else you'll need to study like two years of a lot of things. Anyway, coming back to this device, you got that there. Okay, uh, let's check the other one so you can see. Smart there too. Okay, so you can see that uh, it's being a little bit over that. And this is because I was using this as the main one and the other one as a storage one. So that's why they have different um, times. Here are the SSDs especially this part. So you can see that if you're using the 850, say 50, right? 
yeah, A50 Pro from Samsung, the 520 gigabytes there, half a, gig, a terabyte, for five years, okay, and a little bit over. Power cycle a trillion times. And based on this stats, and by the way, look at that flow, beautiful. Um, it looks like I need to purchase a new one soon, okay? And not just because of that one. I want to show you. I think it was this one. Yeah, there we go. Where leveling count. So basically this says I have a 3% more of usability of a where level before the, the SSD turns into read-only mode. Okay. This has been four years. Almost, almost uh, five years now. And that gives you an estimate, an idea that every more or less five years, and we're talking about using them a lot. Like a lot, a lot, um, every day. We're not talking about you know what, a couple of gigabytes every day. No, we're talking probably 50 gigabytes or more every day, every day. Okay. And and that that this is what you get. So it, it's just to give you an idea of okay, if you have an SSD more or less every five years depending on the usage but every five years i would recommend changing them and it, five years is it's a lot okay obviously if you have an hdd you're like woohoo forever okay you're not gonna be worrying about this even if it says nine months here actually i've been using the this hd longer than than this too so i don't know how that that's counting the time there um and because these tools are NVMe, if we try to do the smart, it's disabled. But remember that we got tools on the NVMe. I think it's NVMe clean or something like that. Uh, I don't see the tools here. Well, I'll do a video. If somebody's interesting, I can do a video about how you can check your own smart stuff uh, through the console. Okay, so you now you know the, the hardware. And now you know that I'll be getting some drives soon to replace the ones that are about to die. Um, you know that I'm using now Ubuntu 23.04, the new kernel, all that, okay? In regards to that, based on, oh, and here's the computer. Okay, here's the, the computer that I have. You know, I have a, a gigabyte here, a gigabyte there. The one that I'm using right now is this one. Uh, both have, it, it's actually two computers. It's just that they share this um screen so if i turn the other computer on it actually uses this one it takes over this one um and each has its own keyboard mouse you know logitech charging pad there and etc cetera, etc cetera, etc cetera. but in regards to the issues that we have in the console we're still having them okay so let me just clear that let's run this let's compare it against this one so this was using kernel 6.1. It was on the previous 22.10. A lot of people were also having this, if they had NVIDIA or not. The errors at the top are more NVIDIA related. It's an issue with NVIDIA, okay? So it's just a warning. Nothing bad is gonna happen. Um, the Bluetooth is still happening, you can see it here, okay? And the I2C is still happening, okay? Mainly for external USB devices. Um, and you can see other stuff, new stuff there. Um, I'm going to show you the kernel that I'm using 6.2.16. The original one is 0, .0 so it's 6.2.0. But um, we're still having some warnings, errors there. I can tell you that at least this group, it's directly related to the Z690 and 790 stuff that Linux has not yet implemented. So there are either workarounds, doesn't perform as well, et cetera, et cetera. In, in regards to the audio, do it, I use 7.1 and still it works properly. I use all, basically all the USB devices, so I don't I don't understand uh, all about you know this one. So these are just little warnings. I'm guessing they got they get fixed. I mean, the, the, the kernel or the Linux tries to fix them, but it just throws you this in DMesh or the journal controller. But it, it just some warnings and things that you need to 
not be scared about. I do need to show you the configuration of the kernel that I have here because it removes several of the things that I was um, seeing there, you know, mitigation is just to get the best performance if you're a desktop user, okay, not a server. This was to solve an issue with NVIDIA. That one supposedly for the same thing, but I mean, you can remove the NVIDIA there. This is just stuff for, because of ACES, their motherboard, and other stuff that I saw mainly because of Steam. Not ACES, not the hardware, just Steam. Steam has a weird issue with there, with the split locks. And I know that I'm in the 6.2 where they supposedly fix all that, but it's still pretty an issue. It's not, it's not fixed yet. This applies for everybody. Fedora Gen 2, Arch, Ubuntu, Mint, you name it. Okay? If you've seen the kernel newbies page, you've seen the, the improvements in 6.3 and 6.4 that's being worked on. Uh, let me just double check that nothing changed there. Yeah, so it's still being worked on, and there were a lot of cool things here. I am in the last version of the 6.2 there. I'm just I'm just waiting for this one to pop up, and maybe have one or two updates to it. Maybe 6.4.1 or two, and then I'll just apply the the kernel uh, patches here. Do know that another thing that I saw is if you have both monitors and let's say uh, let's say that you start playing a specific game in my case counter-strike you might see lag here and they might be using the same refresh rate and everything but it's because you have two monitors and it's a known issue it i'm not saying it's a known issue it's a known known 44 still has that issue so it's a known issue there's other known issues that have actually um uh, reported on in, in regards to deleting files, in regards to the the elements up here, it, everything is GNOME related. So if you're using GNOME, just be mindful that there's a couple GNOME 44 uh, issues that have not been fixed on the 44.1, 44.2, and I think 44.3 uh, yet. NVIDIA has come out with the 535, which I did not know. I, I'm using 5.30 right now. It's working beautifully. I'm guessing this is a, either a beta version or something. But for the questions about using Nubo and not NVIDIA, do remember that when you install Ubuntu, you got to go here. Or just type uh, NVIDIA PPA, and you will end up on this page. And you should be able to just install, run the lines here. You don't need to run this one because every time you add a repository on Ubuntu, it automatically runs it. So you can add this one and just install um, the NVIDIA graphics driver 535 or 530, whichever you want, okay? And then just reboot and you're done. You should be the same as me there. Um, so that's what I got so far. Uh, we're still having kernel issues that are not critical because you can see me recording, you can see me running KDN Live, for example, um, when I'm editing videos. Um, uh, I was doing Android Studio 2, using Flutter. Um, dude, like, I've been doing a lot of things. You can see also the videos that I've been um, sharing on the YouTube channel. So I've been gaming, I've been, you know, a lot of things. Even, whatchamacallit, um, Ryu Yinks here, working beautifully. So I got no, no problem there. Um, so, yeah, those are like, you can take them as warnings for now. I know they're annoying. But um, uh, they're, they're not going like, to kill your system. I'll be putting the kernel options that I'm using on the description on this video. So you can, that might help you there. And that should cover all the things that I've done so far. Okay. If you have any other issues, I can create a video and teach you about it. So no problem there. So I hope the video helped. Big hugs to everybody. And think positive as always.